everybody. I am here with Zandra Amaral Kraus. She is a candidate for County Council of the South Maui seat. And we're going to walk story. Thanks for joining us today, Zandra. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having this. Of course. Uh, could you just tell us a little bit about your background? Uh, what are your ties to Maui? What makes you want to run for the council this year? My ties to Maui is this very street that we are walking on. My mother, my grandmother, my aunties and uncles from my mom grew up right up the street, right across the Bailey Museum. We'd walk from her house down the street all the way to St. Anthony Church for Saturday night services. I used to play on these streets. I remember when we had the Ben Franklin, the national dollar that we shop at, and the Sears that had the catalogs. It was an interesting time. I, I have a wonderful husband. He is from Minnesota, now serving overseas in Diego Garcia as a private contractor to the United States Air Force. I was raised by my mom and my dad, seven siblings, at the edge of Iyao River, the mouth of Iyao River in Waipokokalo, actually. We were raised on a pig and a cow farm. Because my father had seven brothers, seven kids, he knew that working in the cannery could not sustain us. So he bought a cow, pig, and we'd milk our cows, slop our hogs, and then we'd get ready and walk through the cane fields to St. Anthony School. I attended St. Anthony, Baldwin, and Yale schools. And like you, being a Wailuku boy, you know how special this place really, really is. So, oh, I'd be, it behooved me to mention my daughter and my son, Leroy Souza Jr., who gave me grandsons, my daughter, Denise Souza Ho'opai, her wonderful husband, David Ho'opai, forgot, my son's wife, Terry Kanoa, whose family was born and raised in Kenai, in a Kalo farm where her family still has Kalo. Yes. So you, so you grew up here in central Maui, and right now you do real estate, yeah? Correct. So you've seen a lot of changes in Maui. How, how do you feel about those changes? How does that influence what's the changes you want to bring to the council? The changes I want to bring, first of all, is in affordable housing. We have got to figure out a way to allow our children to be able to purchase a home in Maui Nui. And some of the things that I think would work that other states are implementing, number one, they allow young men and women, while in high school, to put money into a savings account that is tax deferred. That money will be used for a down payment for the home. Our young men and women can't afford a mortgage. They are paying mortgage type rates with the rents that they are having to pay. I also believe that tourism is ex extremely important for the state of Hawaii and Maui. But I do believe we need to have some kind of balance between our economy, tourism, and our culture and our environment. And how we do that is through ecotourism. Okay. The Kanapali Beach and the Royal Lahaina does a fabulous job in educating their tourists on how to enjoy our environment and resources while protecting them, not only for their children, but for our children as well. Agriculture, I believe, is extremely important. We need to be able to put together small little farms, kind of like the one I grew up with. Right, right. Milking cows, slopping hogs, planting bananas, planting anything that would allow us to be sustainable. Sustainable, because we're an island. I also believe the cattle industry is imperative on Maui. And I personally know some of the cattle ranchers. My mother's family is into cattle ranching. That also allows us to have some kind of protein sustainability here in Maui. But I think the reason why most I'd like to run for county and humbly ask for the votes of Maui Nui, Maui Molokai Lanai, is because I want to bring collaborativeness back to our council, to our county government, because we know that only by working collaboratively can we get anything done. One individual does not do it alone. It takes administration, it takes council, being able to work with the state and the federal government. So this is really why I'm running. For the people, the young men, such as yourself, your ideas is very different. And I'm very blessed to have my daughter and my son, your age, and their friends, tell me what they want and what they need. And I believe that I can listen to you, the younger generation, while bringing my culture, my roots, 
to the council and collaboratively being productive in getting what needs to be done so that you and your generation can afford to live here and not have to be sent abroad to live. So, uh, you know, one of the responsibilities of the council is appointing leaders, approving department heads. What are some things you look for in a leader and somebody who's going to head a department? For the department heads, what I would look for is someone experienced. And the reason for that is because we have a very short learning curve when we put someone in a position. Having been a past manager of a hotel department, I know that the costly thing of training people is a huge one. If we have people who are already informed and educated, such as planning, a planner, perhaps one that retired here in Maui, perhaps one from that is interested, engineering. You know, so the thing about it is, is to be able to get people with the background already so that we can be up and running so that we, the legislators, do not keep you guys, the public, waiting. Well, all right, Zandra, we've made it to the end of the street. We're at the Banyan Tree. Uh -huh. That means it's time to say goodbye. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Aloha, Maui Nui. Yes, remember to vote in the primary, August 11th, the general, November 6th. And vote for Zandra, Amaral, Krauss. Thank you.